lazy ukuleles, welcome back to another tutorial. Hi. <laughs> so, one of you suggested that we should take a look at how to sing while playing the ukulele. And I think it's a really interesting question because I came into the music world as a singer myself and I started learning the ukulele to accompany myself while singing and as most of you are self-taught and uh, I guess most of you want to sing while playing the ukulele I think that's um, a really relatable problem to have so let's jump into it so I came up with five tips on how to play the ukulele while singing number one start slowly my advice is when you first start playing the ukulele don't pick the first song that you really really love but that's really really complicated just pick one that's really easy so you don't get frustrated right away when you start playing the ukulele there are four chords that are really easy and that you should learn right away because you can play so many songs with them you already know them if you're often around here those are C, put your finger here in the third one, G, it's like a little triangle, those right here, and this one in the middle, A minor, just one finger up here, and just this finger here, the next finger here. Okay, so C, G, A minor, and F. If you can play these chords, then that's a starting point. So just start with these until you're comfortable, or you don't even have to pick those. Uh, I've got lots of tutorials on my channel that are just with two chords. So if you think four chords, there are too many, just learn those two chords from one of the tutorials and then you can start right away. So if you start learning a song, you shouldn't just dive right in with the rhythm, but just play a really simple strumming pattern like one, two, three, four. I'll show you. With the four chords I just showed you before, it's like one, two, Okay, so on to step two. Practice a lot. I studied psychology and we learned that the latest studies showed that there's no such thing as multitasking. So you don't do two things at the same time. It's rather like you switch really fast between them. But it's really hard to pull off and you don't really need to do this to be able to sing while playing. It's more like you have to perfect one thing, like it's automated and muscle memory and then you can concentrate on the other thing because most of us are singers we really want to concentrate on the singing part and we want to do the strumming ukulele part by heart so it's really important that you practice 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 the ukulele strumming thing so you can concentrate on the singing and for that it's really important that you don't just practice five minutes a day but just do it for like 10 minutes straight sometimes it can feel really awkward because you just go on like but that is exactly what is happening it's going inside your muscle memory and though it doesn't feel like it it's getting stuck there okay so you just go on doing that until you can look outside the window while doing it or you could talk to someone while doing it you don't have to look at your fingers while doing it and then you're ready to do the singing part by the way learning an instrument and doing the singing while playing stuff is really good for your brain for the neuroplasticity so everything stays really elastic up there and uh, you're doing a really good thing keep on doing it although you're you may be lazy but you're doing your part <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> Tip 
three. Simple is good enough. So maybe when you start out, you want to change it up a little and do this rhythm and that rhythm, but you don't really have to do that. On this channel, I always say that I use the same rhythm for every song and most of the time it works out. So don't be ashamed to use the same rhythm over and over and over again because your muscle memory is already built up. You can already do it. So if you learn new songs, it's already far easier. You don't have to concentrate on the strumming pattern. You just have to concentrate on the singing part. So my favorite rhythm to use, you already know it, is... This one. Up, no. Down, up, 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 down. Step four. Keep it separate. So you could just leave it there and play your song like this. One, two, three, four. You can change it up a little. Play with your thumb, it feels a little softer. Oh, yeah, I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, or just with your fingernails so it has a little harder sound. Okay, but if you want to go the extra mile and if you want to play the rhythm, then start really slowly, as I said before, and play the pattern first with no singing at all and practice. Tip number two. Practice, practice, practice. So like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. even slower. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Until it feels really easy. <laughs> yeah, if you mess up, that's another minute for you. <laughs> So as I said before, I always use the same pattern for every song, but that sometimes doesn't work out because sometimes the song is a little faster, a little slower, so you have to be flexible. You don't always have to play the song exactly as it's played on the radio because you make your own background music and you are your own singer. So you can decide if you want to do a slower version, a faster version, whatever you like. So sometimes I have to adjust my strumming, uh, make it a little slower, a little faster to my singing or the other way around. So I sing a little slower, I sing a little faster. I can illustrate that I made a practice song <laughs> for us. So it goes like this. We can, maybe you can all play along and uh, then we can find out if it's already, <laughs> if it's already working. So. One, two, three, four. If you 
very good if you want to check if the chords fit your singing. So if you sometimes transpose a song or sometimes the uh, guitar chords don't fit the ukulele, so if you want to make sure that the chords fit the singing, then you can just strum it down like this, so you can hear if it fits the singing voice. Okay, so if we have a feeling like we, we can do this, we can sing while playing it down like this, then we would start with the strumming pattern on its own. Practice, practice, practice. So and now, if I introduce the singing, we see if it works. This is the practice song. If you want to practice, play along. This is a practice song. If you want to practice, play along. Did you notice that I just adjusted my singing a little bit to the playing and that's just how you have to figure it out. For some songs I always have to adjust the voice or adjust the strumming. Just look how it fits. Music is like a really flowy thing. There's no one way to do anything and I think this um, experimentation and improvisation part is really cool. So if you have a song that you want to play, just experiment with it. You don't have to do it like the original artist. You can do it in your own way. So I hope this helped you, those five tips. The last question was how long it took me to do it. Um, it was really frustrating in the beginning because I wanted to sing while playing right away. And I had to just come to terms with the idea that it wouldn't happen as fast as I wanted it to happen. Just as I described, I started playing the songs like this. And for the beginning that was enough for me because I just wanted to sing while playing. And it's really lovely if you just think about that those are chords that fit the song. And um, in the be beginning it's completely enough. So if you want, just want to sing and, and then play a little with it, that's enough for the beginning and then you can just start with introducing the pattern. And as I said, this one pattern I showed you, it's really, really easy and you can use it on almost every song. So um, yeah, uh, I started with the, uh, with the patterns maybe three or four months in. I tried before, but I couldn't do it. Every time I started playing the pattern I stopped singing or when I stopped singing I, I broke the pattern. That's a classic case of wanting too much too soon. <laughs> so uh, that's where the practicing comes in and I don't know why it's maybe it's because we think I got it this one time so I can do it so it's really easy I can I can do the singing why doesn't it work. <sighs> what am I trying to say? I think at three or four months I tried to introduce the strumming pattern um, but then it didn't work. Either the singing worked or the pattern worked, but it didn't work together. And then I tried it really, really slowly. Like this is the practice song. If you want to practice, play along. Yeah. So I tried it like this and then just went faster and faster and played the, the pattern on its own till uh, my hands almost fell off. So it's, yeah, I think it takes like 10,000 hours to become an expert on a subject and maybe I had to put like 50 or 100 into playing until I could do like the strumming while singing thing. And maybe at 50 or 40 hours I could do it almost okay-ish. I, I think I'm still getting better. My standards aren't quite so high. I just want to play and want to have fun so I don't push myself to get better I just do it as a hobby and I'm trying to promote here on my channel also it's okay if you just want to do it as a hobby and you don't have to pressure yourself to do something or to be someone that's uh, really hard to achieve if you don't want to go there <laughs> so sometimes good enough is really good enough. I think I started playing the ukulele about two or three years ago but on off 
again sometimes I play a lot then I play a little less I notice if I play several hours a day for one week uh, when I practice for a little gig I had then it definitely gets better but then I just do nothing for like a few weeks <laughs> <laughs> if I don't want to. Don't pressure yourself and don't go play 10 hours at once because then your fingers will fall off and it just won't work. Have fun with it, that's the most important part. And it'll come to you. It just needs time to settle. Just do it in your own tempo. And there's no right way. You will, you will get there. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> so, from one lazy ukulele to another, have a really nice day. Have fun playing. See you soon. Bye. Welcome back to another tutorial.